everyone. Thanks for joining us um, on live with Ask Stacy and Amanda. Um, I'm Amanda. This is not Stacy. Um, so, hey, um, we're live every Tuesday, usually at 2.30, sometimes at special times at special events. So make sure that you turn on those live notifications, like us on all social media so that you know every single time that we do indeed go live. Um, remember, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in a comment below or send us a direct message. At some point, um, we'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And we are talking student loans today. So if you have questions about student loans, make sure to leave them below and we'll answer them live during the video or later. Um, so we are actually back at BND today. Um, I'm not on the road. This I think this is the first at BND video that I've done in a really long time. So like I said, we are talking about student loans with Lucas, who is the student loan performance manager. So um, Lucas, thanks for joining us. So tell me a little bit about what st um, student loan performance means. You know, we look at all of the uh, factors around student loans as far as um, and making sure uh, applications are, are going through the way that they're supposed to and, and just making sure that uh, um, things are, are getting done the way that they're supposed to. So Awesome. Good stuff. So um, student loans, it's, you know, just the very beginning of the summer. Students are probably, you know, just getting into their summer jobs or summer internships, hopefully not forgetting too much about, you know, school for next year. Mm -hmm. So speaking of what kinds of things should students be thinking about right now in regards to student loans? Yeah, you know, it's a little bit early to, to be applying for student loans, but it's a great time to, to be thinking about um, student loans. So what we usually do is we usually um, encourage people to uh, start looking at costs, understanding okay. what um, what it's going to cost you to go to school this year. Um, that's really kind of a first step to student loans. So uh, what are your expenses, um, costs of living if you're on campus or off campus, uh, meal plans, tuition, all that stuff, understanding that and then understanding uh, what other aid you're going to get, grants, mm -hmm. scholarships, other federal loans. And speaking of that, um, students should be, especially freshman students, should be attending their freshman orientation sessions and all of that. Usually financial aid is there to help them out and kind of navigate that piece of it, yes. right? Yes, yep. They should be able to, you know, at this point in time, you may or may not have received an award letter. Mm -hmm. um, the award letter might uh, kind of give you some expense information, mm -hmm. uh, what they're expecting school to cost you, what aid is available. Mm -hmm. um, once you understand that, I think then it's important to really uh, take a step back and, and think about the difference between those two. So, Because mm -hmm. sometimes your award letter might have extra cost of living expenses that you don't need. So do you really want to take out a, a student loan for, for some of that extra spending cash? You may or may not. Yeah. Um, and I think the important thing to know, I know there was this big study that a lot of us in higher ed saw about um, having loans on the student award letter and students not realizing that, yeah, that is indeed a loan. So just realizing like, yeah, you get um, the Pell Grant, you get scholarships, free money, um, free money on the FAFSA. But if you do have those loans on there, those um they used to be called the Stafford loans or the, the direct loans, the now. direct yep. loans now, or a parent plus loan. Mm -hmm. Those are actually loans. That's not money. You you have to pay that back. Mm -hmm. So I think that's one thing that's important to realize For sure. too. For sure, on yep. there. So so once you have kind of all that information in front of you, and you're able to 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 understand what that cost is going to be for you, I think that uh, your next step is probably to look at. Um, understanding what options are out there for mm -hmm. private student loans. There's a lot of different information. If you Google it, I'm sure you're going to get a bunch of different info. But um, mm -hmm. the key pieces, the main important pieces I would tell people to look at would be interest rate, um, fees, and then uh, terms and benefits. Uh, what uh, what options, what benefits are there for, for you when you take the loan out? Yeah. Um, interest rate reductions and um, sometimes, you know, deferment options or things like that. So, mm -hmm. so why are those pieces important, Lucas, when yeah. considering a student yeah. loan? Because if you research, you're going to see a lot of stuff, like a lot. The, so. the biggest thing with interest rate, you know, with a student loan, it's different because most student loans you don't pay back right away. Mm -hmm. So when you take that into consideration, this is something you'll take out today and probably not have to deal with for four or five years. Um, during that time, interest is, is going to accrue. Um, and that loan is going to cost you a lot more because of mm -hmm. that. So it's obviously important to understand how much 
interest rate is going to improve. And there's different interest rates, right? A lot of um, student loan lenders, they give uh, um, their borrowers an option between fixed and variable, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. There's there's fixed. Fixed is a rate that you, you get that's, that's going to be locked in. Your variable rate is going to change um, based on certain factors. Um, you know, it could be credit-based. It could be... Uh, market based, it, it just mm -hmm. it varies. So yeah, so the interest rate. If you take out a variable rate, I mean, it could be you know one interest rate when they take it out, but by the time they graduate, I mean, it could be considerably higher than it was when when you took they took it out. Yep. So that's one thing to consider if you do select a variable interest rate. Yeah, um, and you know, and then again, I talk about certain benefits. You know, uh, w one of the things that uh, you'll see with certain Certain programs are options to uh, defer payments while you're in school. Okay. And so I said most of them you don't have to pay while you're in school. Mm -hmm. um, there are some student loans out there that you have to start repaying right away. Not everybody's mm -hmm. in a position to do that while they're going to school. So mm -hmm. it's important to understand all of those options that, that uh, are going to be out there for mm -hmm. you. And how about the fee thing? You said there are some student loans that have fees. Yeah. Um, you know, that's just one thing that you got to take a look at. Usually those fees are... Uh, take it out at the top of the loan kind of okay. right away when you when you take the loan so um, it's either added on or, or taken out of, of what you borrow and uh, you know that's a direct cost to taking out that loan so. okay and all of this information when students go out and research would they find it like right on a lender's website would it be in the paperwork where do they usually find that information yeah, sometimes it can be difficult uh some okay. some lenders won't give you an interest rate until you apply the interest rate uh, is credit based so mm -hmm. you're finding out about the interest rate only after you've been approved um, some of them, you know, we do, mm -hmm. we have our interest rates um, out there and we'll have new rates out July 1st for, for anybody applying for the fall here. Um, but we, you know, some ad some lenders will advertise them, some won't. Um, you could always call if you had questions. I'm sure somebody could at least give you a range of interest rates yeah. and what the fee might be if there is a fee. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah. So, um, and, you know, now is kind of, it's a good time to start understanding the bigger picture too. So not just focusing on, okay, my freshman year, it's going to cost me X and I'm paying for A, B, and C. Mm -hmm. Students should really be looking long-term um, at, you know, their four years of college or two years if that's what your degree, what, however long your degree plan is, mm -hmm. you should be looking for the duration yeah. um, of that. For sure. So, yeah, I would add, you know, just um, thinking about the investment uh, you're taking out loans. You're investing in yourself. Um, you know that's 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 great. But I think it's mm -hmm. important early on for you to understand um, what that cost might look like. It's hard to to know mm -hmm. early on, but four or five years of student loans. What am I going to be looking at in debt? Um, and what kind of career can I expect? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of information out there on um, careers and and the opportunities and the pay and some of that stuff. So it's important to research that and understand what you're getting yourself into and, and what that return on, on your, your investment is. Mm -hmm. And the Bank of North Dakota website, we actually have some pretty cool um, calculators on our website. And one thing that students can do is go out there um, to bnd.nd.gov and check out some of our calculators. So let's say you research, let's say you want to be a nurse after you graduate and you take the school, what it's going to cost for four years, pop it in there, what you think your debt's gonna be, and then look at what a first year um, registered nurse's salary or LPN or whatever kind of nurse you wanna be, and see if you know your debt to salary ratio is going to be doable. Cause that's the one thing, you wanna make sure that you can pay your student loans back at the end. Cause I mean, you do, no matter if you don't graduate or don't finish, change your major, whatever. I mean, it's a loan, you have to pay it back. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, it, you don't want to set yourself up for, for future financial trouble. So mm -hmm. best thing to do is to understand those costs and, and see the big picture. So, yeah. and I mean BND, we do have student loans here, um, you know, at the bank, but we also have a lot of really great resources to help you um, as borrowers borrow responsibly and really help you look at the whole picture. Um, so we have our college handbook, we have those calculators, um, maybe there's something I'm missing, but we have a ton of stuff if you go under the college funding tab on our website. For sure, for so. sure. and we're here to help too. I mean, it's uh, we do have a great program. Um, we'd encourage you to take a look at it as you're, as you're looking at all of your options. 
but if there's a, an option out there that that's better suited for you, you know, uh, we're here to help. So we'll, we'll, we'll make sure we give you good information and, and help you out. Yeah. So I'm seeing we have five live viewers. If any of you have questions, be sure to leave us a comment because we'll answer them. Um, so Lucas, when is the best time to take out a student loan or when should a, st a student start considering? Well, you know, uh, you can do your FAFSA early and you can mm -hmm. get your award letter early and you can and kind of understand all that stuff ahead of time but when we talk with the schools they typically like us to have students apply closer to July mm -hmm. um, early middle July you can start applying most loan processes you know they can take a couple weeks we do uh, verify information with the school mm -hmm. there's um, you know loan paperwork that needs to be filled out so the process can take a couple weeks um, and you want to give yourself enough time and you know school typically starts middle to late August mm -hmm. um, So middle of July doesn't leave you a whole lot of time to make sure you get that done So yeah. and especially during the busy season I mean when you have tons and tons of borrowers coming through I mean it that yeah. those extra people can for sure take the time So is there anything that you want? Um, our viewers borrowers folks who have student loans to know about student loans that we haven't covered already you know, I, I think the biggest thing that most people will tell you is to, to just uh, borrow smart, mm -hmm. uh, be smart, be uh, informed. A lot of times there's so many moving pieces, um, but to take a few minutes and sit down with, uh, with somebody you trust and, and talk about some of those costs mm -hmm. and talk about some of that loan stuff. Um, financial aid office can be a good resource. We have no problem helping mm -hmm. you out as well. So use those resources and, and really understand what you're getting into before yeah. you have to do it. Yep, absolutely. There's always somebody to help, whether, you know, it's us, it's, your, you know, your financial aid office, maybe a parent or, you know, an, another adult that you really knows a lot about student loans. So awesome. Well, like always, guys, it doesn't seem like we have any questions, but send us a message, leave us a comment below, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, so next Tuesday, I will be back here live at the bank and we'll actually be with one of our student interns. We have a couple student interns um, at the bank this summer. So we'll be talking about taking control of the students taking control of their financial aid future. So it should be a pretty, uh, a pretty good topic. So make sure to turn on those live notifications, give us a like, and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye!